Welcome to this five minute introduction to the seven single workflows which follow the free web flow. You can try all flows right away by dragging and dropping sample files from the sample file folder into the input folders. Those sample files and workflows follow the free web flow. Remember to start, stop the workflow up here when you want to see it working or to set up a new workflow. There's quite a good interactive help here about alert. Just press F1 anywhere, anytime, or right click on the workflow tab and you will come to a link with tutorial videos. Let me give you a short explanation of those seven simple workflows and the process time you see is the real time. Let's begin with the rename workflow where we drop two files into the input folder. You can drop as many files as you want at the same time. This workflow here adds year, month, and date to the file name, but could also add prefix suffix, remove file names, or rename files. You can combine all functions. It could be that you want to add a customer name or the date you receive the files into the file name. Let's look at the copy move workflow, where we drop a file into the folder. With this workflow, you can auto copy files to, for example, two different folders for archiving, distilling, and so on. This workflow is often also used as part of more advanced workflows. Why not add a watermark to secure design, annual reports, and other documents? Let's drop a file into the folder. It merges right away with a watermark into the PDF file before it's sent to your clients. Here we have added a logo to the page. How about auto split for a multi page PDF file to single page PDF files and adding page numbers to the file name however you want it to look? It could be that you want this functionality for your imposition or other reasons for wanting single PDF pages. As you can see, it has been split and page numbers have been added. Let's drop a JPEG file into the input folder and the file is right away converted to a PDF, fast and many times very practical. Here you can also drop files or folders and they will be zipped or unzipped. This is normally a part of a larger workflow. I do hope this gave you an impression of the possibilities. Please also see the other workflow videos and at the end of the movie, how to create a workflow. In this way, you get a deeper impression of the time and quality advantages you get with Webflow. And very soon, you'll be able to create your own workflows.